to the extra factor. We have just seen the departure of Austin. So let's go and see how he's feeling right now. He's here with Dermot. Can we give a big round of applause for Austin, please? Hello. Austin. Hi. So sorry. What? I think it's been the biggest shock of the competition so far. Would you agree with that, Ryan? I don't think anybody at the beginning of the night would ever have predicted that you'd, you'd be leaving us. Are you, you all right? I'm all right. I'm just, you know what? My mum and dad come down and support me every week. And, you know, that's the important thing for me that they're there. You know, so. Well, I think they should be incredibly proud of you. Um, Austin, I'm going to let Dermot take you up to the ICG2 studio, if that's all right, Dermot. Thank you very much. See you in a bit. Austin, everybody. But now, of course, Rachel, um, you're our survivor tonight. It's, it's almost a weird situation to be in for you, isn't it? A big round of applause to Rachel. It's been tough for her as well tonight. Um, it's been a tricky night for you, hasn't it, right from the beginning? Um, did, you have, did you kind of predict you might have been here? I did. After performing and, like, the judges' comments, I just thought to myself, I'm going to be in bottom two tonight. So maybe it's me for being a bit pessimistic and not having enough faith. But I'm here. You're here and you survived and you've got another week to come back and give it welly, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It doesn't feel like it now. We'll chat with you later, okay? Rachel, everybody. <laughs> Turn up, Rachel. See you in a bit. Right, let's go and catch up with four people who each week get the best view in the house but really do have the worst job of having to send someone home. The judges, everybody. <laughs> that, that was horrible, right, wasn't it? That was really, really tough. Uh, this, um, this stage is horrible. I know, but it seemed, you seem to particularly struggle tonight because, like you said, I think we all know that you really love Rachel and then to be put against Austin, who was one of your strong contenders as well, must have been tough to choose. Yeah, it, it, yeah, and look, they started off the two of them as two of the front runners, you know, so I just said to Austin up on stage, you weren't the worst singer tonight, you had a good song, but it's just one of those things, you know? Okay, and Louis, again, you had the deciding vote. I mean, is that a lot of pressure on you? Were you at any moment Holly, thinking maybe... it I was tonight, because both of them were really, really good, but somebody's going to go home every week. You know, only one person's going to win this show, and nobody yeah. is safe. It's done on what they do on the stage. And, of course, you boys are in the same boat now. You are, only have one act each. Do you but they kind are of, very good at With acts. a long way to go, really. They're very good at No problems. No problems? No. You're not worried? No, I'm not. Um, and sitting pretty in the middle are two girls. I mean, you must be really happy. Danny, the fact that Daniel stayed in, I mean, you saw it on his face, how, you know, relieved he was about that. It was, yeah, it was a tough night for me to sit here and, and think how many more, more weeks can he kind of take the critique. Um, He's obviously got a major public support out he, there. And he that has major fans. And thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for voting. Do you think it was the fact that these guys were so mean that might have made people go, right, I'm going to show them, I'm picking up that phone? I actually think he did a great performance tonight. I thought that song suited him so well, Holly. and I loved his hey, performance. let's go to the chase here. He's getting the sympathy votes. That's it. Well, Louis, your face is a Evil! 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 It's working for him. It's working. It's working. Evil. Cheryl, um, are you just finding this easy, breezing through it, knowing that your girls are going to be safe? Well, no, it's always obviously nice that May 3 go through, but it's this part for me that I absolutely hate. Yeah. And the thing tonight was, I think Austin has proved to the nation that there's no doubt about it, he's an incredible vocalist. Yeah. And I just think Rachel hasn't had that opportunity yet. I think Austin will still do something after this. I think Rachel still needs a few weeks. Do you feel the pressure now, Danny, next week to give Rachel something she can really come out and shine with? Yeah, I think Big Band week was her week where she really shone. Disco is hard. We've seen it in past years where good vocalists, it, it, it completely throws them. Yeah. She was thrown at the start of the show, and I think maybe tonight will just make her reevaluate how precious this is to her. And I think next week you will see the most phenomenal performance from her. Okay, well, if you want to see something exclusive, have a little look at this because we had a camera on hand to see how all of the other contestants reacted to Austin being knocked out of the competition. Take a look at this. The act that I have to send home. It's Austin. Rachel, congratulations, hon. 
Well done, Rachel. Well, we need to get you off. I need to chat to Austin. Thank you so much, Rachel. Congratulations. It's kind of weird seeing that, isn't it? Everybody just really genuinely shell-shocked about the situation. I think either if it had been Rachel or Austin, they would have reacted the same. They were two fantastic acts, so... Plus, they're friends now, you know, they all live in a house together, they've had the best week, they've been out to the Bond premiere, I mean, they don't want that to end. And I guess it only goes to show, I mean, last week, Rachel was your favourite, and then this week she's in the bottom two, so I guess, Cheryl, it kind of makes you think you can't ever be too safe, because be the girls may be favourites, but then next week you just never know what the public are going to exactly, do. Exactly, and it's, it's like people have this idea that it's all about the vocal, it's not. It's not always about having the most amazing vocal, it's about having the, as cheesy as it sounds, the X factor, that something, that thing you can't put your finger on. You can never guarantee a place in the next week. Okay, well look, next week's Mariah Carey week, so that put a smile on all our faces. I can't yeah. wait for that. I know, exciting stuff. Um, thank you very much. The judges, everybody. Thank you. Now let's chat to two people who are like the bread in the X factor sandwich. Yummy! We've got Evie and Brian. Hi! So, wow, uh, blah, big vocalists tonight, equally in the bottom two. Uh, was that a shock for you? Yeah, both of them are, have got great voices, and I think for Austin to go, because it's incredible, because he's one of the strongest voices we've ever really had in a competition, mm -hmm. as far as vocal ability and technique and range is concerned. But as Cheryl was saying, it's obviously about so much more than just that. You know, mm -hmm. you can't just do some, but it's very hard for someone to sing that well and then to leave the competition. Okay, now there was quite a lot of sort of arguments about the choreography tonight. I hold you entirely responsible for the four naked men behind Alexandra. I loved it. Um, you know, Disco Week, it was always going to sort of cause controversy, wasn't it, with dance routine? No, it was. I mean, there's going to be a quality of camp to it, so you have to expect that it's disco. It can't be updated and can't be modern. And the men naked, that was for Simon. I thought he would like it. I think we all very much appreciated it. Thank you. Evie and Brian, everybody, thank you. Now I'm going to stay on my knees. Shane Wolf in the audience, everyone. Hello. So, are you kind of shocked, Simon? I'm really shocked. I mean, I don't think they both should have been in the bottom two tonight, if I'm honest. Um, and uh, honestly, Austin's voice to me uh, is it, it's incredible. You know, and I really love the way that Rachel actually just performed that last song, No Drama. She really gave it a roll, so they both shouldn't have been there. But it's always the same, isn't it? X Factor always does this to us. It twists and turns, it's and we so never know what's going to happen. It's so unpredictable. I mean, you could be the most amazing vocalist on that stage, and you've seen what happened tonight. Austin has now gone home. So mm -hmm. you need to be prepared. When you stand on that stage, you give it your all. That's all you can do. What advice would you have for Austin now? What do you think he should do? Pick himself up? Um, you... I mean, he shouldn't walk around with his head down, he should walk up with his head held high because he did a fantastic performance, the public know he can sing, and I do think we're going to see a single out by him, definitely. I hope so, I hope so. Well, listen, a big round of applause for Shane Ward for you, thank you. <laughs> now, not for one moment. She's very good for me. Oh. <laughs> Shane is the only one with an opinion tonight. I really want to hear yours. And there are two very easy ways that you can do this. You can text STUDIO, plus your name, location and comments, 87103. Text costs 25 pence, plus one standard network rate message. And if your texts are even more amusing than the Beano at Christmas edition, which let me tell you is very amusing, then we will show them, but we can't show them all. Now, if you really want to let a lot of your chest and texting just won't cut the mustard, then you can email us at itv.com forward slash X Factor. It's now time for a break, but we'll be back with the contestants, our panel, and Will Young. I'll see you after the break. See you in a moment. Bye. Welcome back to the Extra Factor, where we're now joined by eight people who must know exactly how Charlie felt when he found his golden ticket just without the chocolate and the glass elevator. It's the X Factor finalist. Yeah. Okay, now I know we're feeling a bit glum, but can we all just turn to the left? Uh, get, rise our right hand and give the person in front of you a big tap on the back for doing so yeah, well. Yeah well, yeah, well, well done, me. Yeah. <laughs> um, because you've all made it through another week. Well done, everybody. I can't actually believe how small this group's getting. Boys, you're looking quite thin on the ground. Thank God for JLS, otherwise <laughs> there would be nobody here. Um, a shock tonight, right? Yeah. A bit of a shock? Yeah. Daniel, your face when you got through first, when oh, your name was the first to be announced. The have been so horrible, I thought there's no yeah. chance, you know, and well, it just shows you there's the public in control, and just thank you to them, you know. It must make you feel pretty amazing knowing that you've got that kind of support yeah. out there. Oh, it's, and to get to me first, I just want to say thanks to whoever did that, so they didn't keep me waiting. I was like having a heart attack yeah. up there, but... 
Well, I've got uh, an email here from Megan who says Daniel's amazing is so deserved to get through. I was so yeah, happy you, when Megan. he did. Yeah. And she goes on to say more stuff. I'll give you that. You can read it. Oh, it's a nice you. long email there. <laughs> um, girls, I mean, Rachel, I mean, a really big vocalist. We know all you girls are great vocalists. Did it kind of sort of shake you up a bit when she was down there in the bottom two? Did it make you think, oh, maybe we're not that safe after all? It's a massive yeah, show. Yeah, She's amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. Disco week isn't, isn't ever the easiest week for no. an artist full stop to do because everyone has their own style and their own flavour and you've just got to get with the show and the themes and, and just work with it. But yeah. It's never an easy week, Disco Week. So. There's um, a lot of talk about the whole package tonight, and I know, Laura, Simon was being a bit weird about your mm. image and stuff. I have to say, and it was really weird timing because I was watching it, and all of my girls in my room we went, God, she looks special, she's ever looked tonight. And then Simon came out with that, and we were just like... That's what it's we mad. Said, we yeah, said, said that when that. we were watching it back. Yeah. She looked amazing. Yeah. So <clears throat> ignore Simon. Ruth ignored oh, him, yeah. and you've been here ever since you ignored <laughs> yeah. him. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to all of you. Um, Austin going out. I mean, he's he's quite an emotional boy, isn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And last week, Scott going out. Like, how yeah. do you think he's going to deal with this, boys? I mean, Austin, you know, he's a very determined character. So I think he's going to pick himself back up. He's going to keep doing his music. He loves music, you know. He's, he's in singer. love with music, so and, and that's what's going to take him all the way. I think. Great, great I'm sure he's going to have a single out as well. Yeah. I know that's what Shane Ward said. I think so too, and I'm definitely. Sure play the harmonica. Yeah. 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 I'd love that. That would be great. Well, one act who must be still trying to catch their breath, and she's here right now. It's Rachel. Go on, you just squeeze along a little bit. Come on, Rachel. You all right? Come and sit down, take a seat. Right, well, uh, probably the worst night for you, right? All round. That's happened to someone. Yeah. And in a way, now that you've been there, you, uh, does it make you feel like you're not so frightened of it, or...? Oh, Rachel. What were you thinking when you were singing Mary Jo Blige? Did you just kind of go... I can't right. say what I was thinking on TV. <laughs> but do you just get to that point where you think, right, I've got nothing to lose now, I'm just gonna... Just to cut a long story store. Short, sorry, I can't even speak yeah, now. No, it's Bottom line is I had to survive today, and that's one thing I'm good at. Throughout my whole life, I've always been able to survive. So. You're a survivor. Yeah. Hello. Let's look forward to next week, because, you know, you're a lady with a big voice. And next week is Mariah Carey week, right? Yep. You need a tissue. Mm -hmm. So next week, there's got to be some songs in there to see that belting Rachel Hilton voice that we all know and love come out, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Definitely. Are you looking forward to that? No. <laughs> Why? Not loving Mariah Carey so much. Nothing to do with Mariah Carey. I'm just not loving. Yeah, thank you, Danny. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just to talk right now. Danny, I just want to go any... home to my my real friends, my real family. I just want to hug my kids. That's all I want to do right now. I just want to. Tomorrow's a new family. day, baby. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll it's again. tough because it's only just happened. But like Daniel, you know, you have yeah. been there, and it does. It just takes a does, little definitely. while to sink in. Yeah, yeah, I just think tomorrow, it's, there's a new day. We start again tomorrow. Start afresh. Yeah. Yeah. And also, let it's Daniel. It's a new dawn. It's a exactly. new day. It's a new life. <laughs> exactly. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll okay, be babe. feeling good. And let Daniel feel less than because you know you you were voted in the bottom two, yeah. and then look at this week. It comes back, and there he is, and they're saving him, and there's nothing those judges can do. No matter what they say, right? I know. <laughs> okay, well, look, you stay strong, okay? Right, well, Rachel had a bit of a scare just now, which is kind of apt, as yesterday was Halloween, hence all of our pumpkins that we've got everywhere in the studio. Mm -hmm. But earlier in the week, uh, you all experienced something <laughs> even more horrible and terrifying. Aston, I'm looking at you. You might be shocked by this. <laughs> Hello, ITV2. Welcome to a Halloween party. Follow me.
I do think it's one of those things that's going to be burned etched in my mind for the rest of my life. No Halloween party is complete without a bit of friendly. Treat. I say treat! <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't think I'm going to forget that in a hurry. Now, the old saying goes that two is company and three is a crowd. Well, whoever wrote that has obviously never met our celebrity panel. They have brains, brawn, and beauty, just in different measures. We've got Gemma Atkinson, Huey Morgan, and Gabriella Chilby! One, wasn't it? Yeah. Panel of experts. Well, I was on the edge of my seat. I know. I think everybody was shocked to see what that bottom two was. Although, I have to say, your predictions weren't far off, were they? I mean, you both said that you thought Austin would be in the bottom two, and Gemma, you predicted that it could be Rachel. Yeah, I just think now, because they're all getting better each week, I think yeah. whoever goes first runs the risk of being overshadowed. Nice. I think that's all it was, because Rachel sang amazing, but because she was first, everyone else who you know, you kind of, it gets so overshadowed by the rest because everyone's getting thing, better each week, yeah. I mean, it's quite a shock that someone, I mean, Gabriella, you're a singer, um, someone with vocals like Austin to go out at this stage, that's kind of weird, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. I guess, I guess kind of someone's got to go and it's, it's yeah. at the end of the day, it's kind of like, it, it is a competition and someone has to leave and it's just like, Mm. Yeah, obviously they can all like sing, but it's just like it's cr yeah, tough. It's crazy. It? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Do you feeling. think Louis? Do you think Louis made the right choice tonight? Uh, who knows? You know, time will tell. But I mean, one thing that has to be learned from this is that it is a rough, rough business, and you guys gotta stop crying and all that nonsense <laughs> and and toughen up because this is just the beginning. And it's oh, don't scary. listen to him. You cry sometimes and you can't it's help it. No, no, I, 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 I can be a weed. I can be a major weed no, sometimes, I, no, but you have to get true, over but, it sometimes. But, but <laughs> you, you, you gotta, have to gotta get over it up because this business is this business is pretty heavy. But they're so new to it. Like you can't remember that. I know, but it's at that. this point, at this point, at this stage in the competition, there's really no time for that. They actually really have to take what they want yeah. rather than just sitting around and waiting for it to happen. It is about staying focused, I guess. Mm. Um, after tonight, like when you sort of watched it at home, did your opinions change on anyone? Is there anyone that you kind of looked at and gone, wow, actually seeing them in the flesh and hearing them tonight, did it change? Well, I think the voices uh, definitely are more pronounced when you see them in the studio. Right. And I, I guess that has to do with you guys uh, in the control room, uh, not mixing it right. But uh, <laughs> it, 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 it sounds, sounds a lot more powerful live, and I think the vocals do come across a lot better live. And right. I think a lot of you guys got great voices, and you're going a long way. So you think we've got a few people that are going to have a good old career? Yeah. Over there. Everyone at home says how fantastic Laura's voice is, but when you hear it in there, it's, boom. it's like, cool. you're like blown away by it's it. Loud, it's loud, isn't it? Yeah. It would go right hits right through yeah. you. Well, next week, uh, her voice is going to get even bigger and yeah, even more powerful higher. because we're going to be singing songs that sound a little bit like this. <laughs> Good week. Well, yeah, yeah, sounds great. Puppies, kittens. It's gonna be crazy. Mariah, pants on fire. It's gonna be brilliant. Yeah. And the guys, you know, are gonna be performing her big major songs. Do you think that means that the girls have a bit more of an advantage because they're female vocals, aren't they? You know, she does sing pretty high, Mariah. Yeah. yeah. I might have to go like Can step on all the guys' feet and like wear tight, tight pants. Yeah. Do all that devil suit get all tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a <laughs> good idea. Vocals on. <laughs> devil suit, but all of the boys. <laughs> Good advice, Gemma. Some high um, seas. Now, your single is out, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, Sanctuary's out in, um, I think it's out November 10th. And I November kind of, 10th. I wrote it about a time when I felt really comfortable with a friend of mine, but we're not mates anymore. So it's oh. a bit, kind of awkward to, oh, kind, no. of, to kind of sing now. That is a little bit awkward. Let it be a lesson yeah. to all of you when you're writing your albums. Um, mm. And you're also going to be performing at Shepherd's Bush Empire as well, right? Yeah, on Monday, which is crazy, because, like, that's an awesome place to perform. Like, it's, yeah, it's crazy. It all right. Fun. Well, look, thanks so much, guys. You've been a My brilliant pleasure. panel. Uh, the panel, everybody.
I just say, get well, Steve. My oh. friend's dad, get well, Steve. Get well, Steve. Robo. Get well, Steve. Robo. Get well, Robo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now, we're in our fifth year of Extra Factor, and we thought we'd seen everything. The good, the bad, and the damn right bizarre. And then, in London, we met Betty, who was in a category all of her own. So much so that she upset a few people with her song, which is why the offending words have been beeped out. <laughs> It's the end of the line, guys. Thanks to everybody. Bye. Hi, I'm Betty Bryce, and unfortunately for me on The X Factor, Simon Cowell didn't think I had what it took. We're having a <laughs> We're having a ball. We're having a <laughs> against the wall. Simon called me a little minx. So you are a complete little minx, aren't you? <laughs> So since then, I've decided to change my ways and become more domesticated. <laughs> Not really. I'm still a little minx at heart. When I go into town, I like to go and get my hair done, I'll get my nails done. And when I'm at the hairdressers, I like to have a good old flirt if any guys come in. Go and give the boys a treat. I feel fabulous. <laughs> On a normal day, I would come down to my local conservative club and meet up with all my friends. Fancy dance, darling. We have great times, music, dancing, entertainment, and I like to sing sometimes. We're having a We're having a ball. We're having a and I think everybody enjoys it, especially when the boys are here. I've had a few winks. As you can see, Simon, I've still got it, and I'm still a little minx. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you, but I have some basic rules that I like to live by. Always brush my teeth before bed, trampolines are not toys, never leave rude answer phone messages, and you can never get another... Well, Jürgen is here! Yes, How oh, oh, good is that? And it's true! <laughs> well done tonight. Trampolines you are... are very dangerous. <laughs> they are so dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it at home. <laughs> Trying to follow the camera. Um, well done tonight. <laughs> Thank you. You were so good. Your voice is just so crystal clear and pure and... Sorry, Thank I'll stop. You. I was Go very nervous, that. you know, because it's, it's weird, because this is where we had Pop Idol, yeah. so it was, it's, it's the same game. studio, and it's, it, it's sort of, I went into sort of flashback mode, because I was getting texts from people this morning going, good luck. My dad texted me going, when do I vote? It's <laughs> 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 not a bad dream. Don't dream. need to vote. <laughs> she got confused. What did you think of the result tonight? It was a shock, wasn't it? I thought it was a bit of a shock. Yeah. Um, but then it's always sad when anyone goes yeah. so there's always a bit of a shock factor mm. um and it's just it's the nature of, of the competition isn't it and you can't always mm. um predict you know sometimes you think you can predict the nature of it and the beauty of it in some ways even yeah it feels tough at the time i think the beauty might have gone at the moment but, for, the, for you know, the time being yeah but i think that everyone did really well and it's so weird because i didn't spend very long with you guys but i feel like you were my babies no. No. I was listening, oh, I was thinking, yeah. are they going to do it, JLS? How much dancing are they doing? <laughs> well, <laughs> also, um, you, you, when you were in your master classes, you and sometimes were quite strict. Um, I just want to show this little <laughs> clip of Owen when he left his phone on. Let's oh, just take no. a little look. Oh, no. <laughs> a couple of things I would say, I think you need to alter some of the... Um, you need to turn your phone off when you're working, and then... <laughs> I love it. He's like panicking away, panicking. Is that like, is that like a big no-no? Oh, sorry. Hello? Hi, Mum. Yeah, me with Will Young. Yeah, I'll get your autograph. Don't you? Sorry, it was my mum. That's extreme. So unprofessional. Um, now, Owen's not here because he's only 16. I have to say that. We do miss him here every week. Um, Laura, you've got a question, haven't you? Yeah, um, lovely I just Laura. Want to say, thank you for the other day, it was amazing. That's all right, my lovely. And um, also, what do you think is the best way of getting votes? Because obviously, you won, so a lot of people must avoid for you. The best way of getting votes? Of getting oh, votes. votes, yeah. Um, 
Oh, that's a hard question, isn't it? Um, I paid a lot of people to campaign <laughs> <laughs> vigorously around Berkshire. Um, you know what? I think it's, you've just got to be yourself, I think. And, mm. and then people really relate to that. And, and, and you, there's a connection with the audience. And sometimes that's a very hard thing to find, you know. Yeah. Um, I think you've just got to be yourself. Now, I think you are being. Thank you. Yeah. Well, um, Jell S, um, obviously you had a great little lesson together. I just want to show you this. Have I got it? Yeah, just have a look, just have a look, just have a look. Wait, 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 watch this, watch this. <laughs> and uh, when can I be the fifth man? <laughs> what colour? What colour? Where's my sweatshirt? What colour do you want to be? Purple. Yeah, I like purple. Well, you asked, and here is your initiation. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I'm so happy! There you go. Um, we've got we've got blue, red, green, yellow, purple, purple. and we can't leave you. Can I get a pink? Uh, I got pink. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very excited. Now, um, obviously, one act that we can't um, not talk about is Austin, and let's just remind ourselves of the moment he left the competition. It's a bit sad. I love it. Louis, who are you going to send home, please? The act that I have to send home. It's Austin. Okay, can we have a massive cheer for Austin? Austin, come here. Come and take a seat with us. Oh, Austin, I can't actually believe that this is for real, really. Has it sunk in or is it just getting a bit... Do you know what? I'm, I'm okay because before I got on stage tonight, I, I, I thought the song wasn't right for me. That was, you right. know, that was in my head. But do you know what? I spoke to a little girl before I came on stage tonight and she had cancer. Mm. And I thought, do you know what? Tonight I'm going home alive. She could possibly have something really bad up and it's, it's not the end of, end of the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, and do you know what? You've got to look at the bigger picture. And the way I see it is it was her wish to come here tonight. And it was my wish to get through. I didn't get through, but she's got other things going on. Did Do you Simon... I mean? You've got to think of things in a bigger picture. Sure. Did Simon mm. give you any advice? Did he, has he said anything mm, to you since? Not, not really. Just sort of gave me a slap on the back and said, hope you're okay. Do you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all right. I'm looking at things in a bigger picture. I'm not... I could be negative, but what's the point? Yeah. Well, I know Simon's not here, and I'm sorry he couldn't make it up here. But, <laughs> well, have you got any advice? I'm your you... resident, Simon. You <laughs> are our resident. Be nasty, go on. I, think <laughs> it's, I just think it's great to hear you say that, because yeah. I think sometimes it's very hard to get perspective on things, mm. and this is just part of your journey, and you've done absolutely amazingly out of how many people who auditioned to get here. Mm. And I don't think that your singing was ever in question, and I was no, so impressed and when we worked together. So... Yeah, there's not much more you can do, and I, it's so great to hear you have such a mature look on it. Well, look, it Austin, I think right now what you need is some loving. Do you want to feel the love? Have a look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Austin! Oh, gosh, Austin, I love you. You're such a talented guy. Austin, Austin, Austin. You see, me and you've been talking since boot camp, so you know how relationship is just off the chain. Austin, you are one of the most talented guys I know. I want you to keep doing what you're doing. Do you remember when we used to jam in the music room? What fun we had. Austin and your harmonica. Um, you're so passionate for music. It's just crazy. Austin, you're a top lad. Um, shared a room with you, mate. Um, you always play that harmonica and that guitar. You and your little harmonica playing ways. Nah, I'm only joking, man. You're a good guy. And you are talented. And you will go and bomb it. I love your spirit and your charisma, and I think it will take you far in your life. Oh, you're a talented guy, mate. You've got an amazing voice. And, uh, keep going. You're going to be uh, very, very big. Not big, but, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big. Yeah. You're just the funniest boy on earth. You've made my time here so enjoyable, and I'm the only one who actually really enjoys your harmonica playing, so I'm the best friend through all this, don't forget. I know that you're feeling glum now when you're having a cry, but there has been some amazing times, and <laughs> ITV2 have been there to capture them all along the way. Have a look at these. These are your best <laughs> bits, Austin. Oh, it's extra factor. Although we go to the end of the road, still.
still I can let go. 100%, yes. Danny? Oh, yeah. You thoroughly deserve this. You threw it to the boot camp. What you call What you just did up there was magic. That you are through to the next round. <laughs> now the way that it stands, she's out of my hands. You were fantastic. Yeah, I've so happy. I know, and it paid off. Oh my God! Yeah! This could be the first performance we've ever heard from you where you don't cry. Hey! Another fantastic performance. It's not annoying. It's the best thing in the world. Said you want to impress your dad because it's one of your dad's favourite songs. Did you like it? Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> Will you still love me tomorrow? We will still love you tomorrow, and I know there are some people desperate to come and give you a big old cuddle. Are you ready to see your friends and family? Here they come, it's Austin's friends and family. It comes like dad. Go and give him a cuddle. Well, that is it for tonight. It's been more jam-packed than a cupboard full of condiments. A huge thank you to our judges, the contestants, the wonderful Gemma Atkinson, Gabriella Chilmy, Huey Morgan, Will Young and Shane Ward. Tune in next week for loads more good stuff, including Mariah Carey. I'll see you then. To Austin, everybody! <laughs>